many people have them these days, the private security cameras at their home. Soon Baltimore residents and businesses could get paid to have them. It's all in an effort to help solve some of the crimes in the city. WMER 2 News, Abby Azix is live outside the city council hearing on a proposal for a security camera rebate program. Abby? Kelly, that hearing has wrapped up. There was a lot of questions about the potential cost of this program and if there might be any grant funding available. But the councilman who proposed this legislation, as well as a representative from the Baltimore Police Department, stressed it's all worth it. They say that this program could help solve crime in the city. They're so prolific, they've started to blend in. Private security cameras outside homes in Baltimore, lending another set of eyes Can I help you? and ears, capturing vandalism, stolen packages, and in some cases, very serious crimes. In this particular case, we had video surveillance that allowed us to try to connect the dots. It was a year and a half ago that Timothy Morricone was murdered near his home in Federal Hill. His final moments, captured on private security video, helped catch his killer. And just last month, <coughs> doorbell cameras recorded an assault near Patterson Park. A teenager picking up a woman and stealing her keys. Call the police. What the Baltimore police say they arrested three teens responsible for her assault and another one, in no small part because of the cameras that caught several angles of the group as they were working the area. That's why Councilman Eric Costello is pushing for a rebate program to give people and businesses up to $150 for installing a system like Ring or Nest and registering with the police department. This is something that citizens choose to opt into. Uh, and even if the police department reaches out and says, hey, there was a crime next door, we think we caught the person on your camera, can we look at it? The citizen still reserves the right to say no to the police department. It's all in an effort to solve more crimes in Baltimore. I think it's a good thing. I think the crime here on Fed Hills would warrant it. I couldn't see anything bad about it. So the peace of mind will come in with the fact that the people that are here every day, you know, the people that live and work the area are having a direct connection to, you know, the security measures that are being enforced in the area. I mean, because if some Costello says the next step is looking at several proposed amendments, one of which would make this not only a rebate program, but a voucher program. So you could get paid for already having a camera, or you could get paid ahead of time to go ahead and buy one. Now, Washington, D.C. has had a similar program for four years, and uh, reports say that that has been responsible for making two murder arrests. And people here tonight with city agencies say they'll be taking a look at Washington, D.C.'s model before setting one up here. Live at City Hall, Abby Isaacs. WMAR 2 News.